and CDR. Good night. Bro. That cadaver just one-shotted every single one of my Pokemon. This is the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Nuzlocke. Things work a little different in Let's Go because there's no wild Pokemon battles. You can only catch them. And since we're only allowed to catch the first Pokemon on a route, there will be no grinding, which means we need to face every trainer possible to keep up in levels. We start things out just like any other Pokemon game, picking our starter. And of course, there was only one real choice, Charmander. With Charmander at my side, it was time to venture forth into the unknown. And you gotta believe me when I say that for every encounter, I shut my eyes and wandered around until I encountered a Pokemon. My first encounter was a Pidgey that I successfully caught and named it Pete. We then returned to the lab with Oak's parcel and it was time for our first battle. Four Thundershocks and it was a wrap. Our next encounter was just west of Viridian City where it was another bird, Spiro, who I named not Pete. Heading north of Viridian was yet another encounter, Weedle, who I named after the buggiest bug of all bugs, Bethesda. And if you thought the encounters ended there, think again. Yet another bug, Caterpie, who I named Free to a Home. The home didn't have to be good or anything, just take it away, please. With our team of five, we successfully made it through the forest and into Pewter City. But a Charmander, two birds, and two bugs won't do too good against Brock's rock team. We pulled up to the gym, but we were kicked out due to us not having a grass or water type. I tried to explain what a Nuzlocke was, but the doorman wasn't really having it. I went and caught an illegal Oddish that I promptly released once I was safely past the guy who didn't understand that I gotta do what I gotta do for the content, like and subscribe. I beat the gym trainers fairly easily using double kick on Charmander and made it to Brock. I brute forced Brock's Geodude using the same double kick strategy, but then out came Onyx. I switched into Bethesda in an attempt to poison the Onyx. But unfortunately, Onyx outsped and one-shot Bethesda. Now knowing the threat that Onyx brought, I swapped into Free to a Home to try to slow it down with String Shot. But those who don't learn from their past are doomed to repeat it. Oh well. I was trying to fix something that wasn't broke, so I brought Charmander back out with the Brute Force Strat. It was a close battle, but in the end, we won. We released Bethesda and someone else, I, I don't really remember, they, they don't matter, and headed off to more encounters. Just to the right of Pewter City, I caught a sand dial and decided not to nickname it. And just before Mount Moon, we got our static Magikarp, who was named Minecraft. Entering Mount Moon, our next encounter was Geodude, who I named Jonathlon. I picked up the Helix Fossil because it was the only one there and easily beat Team Rocket with Charmander and Pete. The Route 4 encounter was Mankey, who I gave a false sense of hope by naming Annihilate. I decided to take on the gym first after picking up the Zippy Zap move for Charmander. All of Misty's trainers were super easy, and so was Misty with her Psyduck and Starmie. Uh, oh, I accidentally double kicked instead of zippy zapped. No big deal, whatever. Oh. Oh no. This is not good. Please no, no, no. Well.
This was fun. I had a run on my channel where I made it the rock tunnel, but that wasn't good enough for me. No, I could do better. In the end, I got way too cocky and it bit me in the butt. GG, let's go. Thank you all for watching. You can find my original Let's Go Nuzlocke coming up in the end screen. Make sure you subscribe while you're here, and thanks for watching.